What is up, Obscure Mike people? It is Bark coming back at you yet again with a uh, kind of a dual purpose video here. We're going to check out the Zramo handheld condenser mic from Amazon, which is routinely eight to fifteen dollars. And uh, I'll show you this in a minute, the internals here. Well, we'll do it now. I've got a black one and I have a nickel finish one. And these things like this one is microphonic as heck. This one has more of a gloss finish and is a little less microphonic. But we're going to review the handheld condenser that is cheap as dirt. But we're also going to mod a handheld condenser. We've got one unmodded, one modded. We'll get to that in a minute. Anyways, let's show you the internals here. Honestly, for a cheap, cheap mic, it is somewhat impressive because it does have a uh, really cool capsule mount. Also has like a two stage windscreen. There's a, see the space there? If I put my finger in there, it only goes so far. Low gap there for like plosive protection basically. Anyways, we've got this Ramo. We'll put it through its paces and then we'll mod it because it doesn't really sound that good. It's a nice body. It's a nice design. Neumann ripoff, of course. Was it KSM 105? I can't remember exactly. But it's a, it, it's a great body to work with, a great moddable body. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But first, let's just run this through its paces just because it's cheap, super cheap, and it is usable. Doesn't sound great but it is usable. First we'll do plosives. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. See that little gap, that two stage plosive, that helps a little bit, that helped. And there's a little grill over top of the uh, electric capsule there. So all in all, not bad. Let's get right on top of it. Boy, my voice sounds weird on this thing. When you get right on top of the Zramo handheld condenser microphone, this is what it sounds like when you're right on top of the Zramo handheld condenser microphone. This is what it sounds like. Handling noise time. That's rough. Now let's do off axis rejection. We're talking into the front of the microphone. We're going to go 90 degrees off axis rejection, 180 degrees off axis rejection, 90 degrees again, and back around to the front of the microphone. Listen, that's really all I need to hear. Um, but considering I'm pretty sure I got both of mine for eight bucks a piece and I quite like the black one. I mean, I quite like them both as far as looks go and to be able to mod and, and have fun. This is a great, that, that, that grill, that two piece grill, you can see it a lot better on the black. There's something to be said for that. If you're modding a handheld mic or whatever, and you don't do a lot of handling noise, there's something to be said for that design that, uh, that helps a lot. Now, we can also stick windscreens. I've got a really uh, dense foam. And this is what that sounds like with that on. And then I've got more of a plushy foam, real soft. And this is what that sounds like with that on. So I'm going to kind of keep these around for reference because this is like, you know, exfoliating. And this is just soft. Anyways, BB saw real quick. This thing, um, it's it's, it's going to get a six because it's super cheap and it's very moddable. So I, th I think it's a six and it will work. I mean, it does sound, um, <sighs> it sounds rough. It sounds thin and kind of crummy, but it's so cheap and the body is so solid, even though it's a cheap metal, this whole grill design, everything about it, just really cool. I mean, I would buy these all day. I might buy more of these just to mod and do this cool Vox mod and, uh, move some of those like candy. But now let's get you over to the mod video itself. I'm going to take the Coolvox capsule, same thing I put in this pink end address broadcast microphone -y, and uh, I'm going to record that with, you know, the voiceover with this Zramo mic. And then we'll come back, we'll talk on this, and then we'll talk on the finished product, which is the Black Zramo. That's what we'll do. That is what we'll do. Cut to the video. 
So first off, we're going to take the microphone. The top of this grill comes off, and this is what enables this to be able to be used with the Coolvox capsule. Keep in mind, we're still on the Zramo with the condenser capsule in it. But I'm actually, to add weight and dampen the handling noise, I'm going to take an XLR cable that's just disassembled. So the, uh, the female part is gone, and I took the sheath off the male part. So we're going to stick that down through the handle, and we are going to screw that in place. So yeah, just a quick screw. That's what she said, and we'll get that locked into place there. So then you'll have the uh, cord coming out of the top like pictured here. And then we will be ready to solder in the Coolvox capsule, which I have put a rubber band around because it did fit in pretty well, but there was just a little tiny bit of movement. If you did shake it, it would bounce just a tiny bit. So that rubber band is going to act as a little bit of a buffer and keep it more firm and secure in there. But we're just going to go red to red and white to non-colored on the Coolvox capsule. Just a little dab will do you to get that red wire soldered in there correctly. Low heat, low press, let off, let it cool, good to go. Gonna be the same thing with the white wire to the other side. Low press, see it bubble up, release, and let it cool, and we're soldered. Now we're ready to put this capsule that is soldered ready to go, we're ready to insert it into the microphone. Hardest part about the whole thing was getting the stiff cable kind of pushed down and tucked in, so I kind of coiled it around the inside of the handle. That way it would, would give that bulk, that heft, and give it a little dampening on the, the handle as well, which is part of the reason why I used the XLR cable. Plus, I had it laying around, so that's part of it too. So there we go, we've got the capsule pretty much ready to push down in there. There we go, got the capsule in. Going to kind of tuck the rubber band around, that way there is no bounce around there. And if it does move slightly, it's hitting rubber and nothing else. So sort of a poor man's shock mount, so to speak. Then we're going to take the top of the basket, which I have put a little piece of foam in the end there. And as you can see, it goes right over top of that capsule and... It will screw back on fine with that large capsule in there, and it does not press against. It is pretty much a perfect fit for the most part. So now, let's test it. All right, so now that you've seen the build, like we just heard the Zramo here. We just heard the whole thing, kit and caboodle, and uh, you got that to now compare to this. And keep in mind, this is running through a Shure M367 microphone mixer and then into a Tascam 1x2HR which in my opinion that combination just makes everything sound so freaking solid. The top end on this is not harsh through these things it just sounds uh, I think it's very very workable. Now again this is in the condenser body. Without further ado let's go to the handheld Coolvox large diaphragm which is basically a broadcast style dynamic capsule. Let's switch over to this and see how it compared to the earlier Zramo and to this for that matter. Let's switch it up. All right, so now we are on the handheld large diaphragm capsule. Let's go ahead and run it through its paces. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Didn't stop plosives completely, but uh, pretty good for the most part. Pretty good. Now let's go ahead and do proximity effect get right on top of the microphone see what it sounds like now it sounds a lot more like when i'm close on it it sounds more similar to the condenser yeah there's that let's do handling noise definitely coming through the headphones i expect it to come through the video but who knows handling noise there you go let's do some off axis rejection gonna take the microphone go 90 degrees off axis 180 degrees 90 degrees again and then back around to the front of the microphone let's go ahead and do the foam that's too big we got the dense foam up first this is what it sounds like with the dense foam windscreen on the cool box handheld let's go ahead and change it now we're on the more plushy foam windscreen for the cool box handheld mic the plushier of the two let me know your thoughts down below it's a fun experiment to do with a large diaphragm dynamic capsule in the zramo mic that's all i got though i'll see you guys next time obscure mics peace out